Planners and bullet journals, art journals, art projects, organized planner sheet. Well, hello, Planner Babes, and welcome to Organized Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and select the bell for notifications. I publish one to two recorded videos per week on planning, junk journaling, craft room organization, and related shopping hauls. I also post an additional live video most weeks. And I want to thank all my Patreon members who helped make it possible to create videos like this. Well, thank you guys so much, and if you're interested in supporting me on patreon just go to patreon.com slash organized planner chic well hey planner babes i'm so excited to show you i had not been to dollar tree in forever and i finally went again and i'm so glad i took my time at a huge store in my favorite one in the area where i live huge huge store and i took my time and i just shopped so let's dig in Okay, you guys, let's start with a couple of stuffed things. So, I know you've probably already seen these gnomes, but I'm just going to go ahead and start off with this because I know you, I'm, I'm pretty sure you've probably seen it or you've seen it in a video or you've seen it at the store, but I actually got a total of five different gnomes, but I gave the other ones away to my friends. So this is probably, well, this is like my second favorite one, I think right now, because it's like a girl gnome. I know. <laughs> it's so super cute. I love it. And you know, I'm going to have to like rotate out my stuffed gnomes or, or my gnomes and my, and my dolls and stuff because I can't just keep everything out everywhere now. But I love this so much. So got this one. So cute. And I got this one. I love this one with the gray beard. Oh my gosh, look at you. And I like that they've got different skin tone now. That is so nice. I got this one and I got this one. And so the other ones are similar that I, I gave one to my mom and one to my uh, one of my dear friends, Penny, who always, we give each other gnomes. But this is how they look together. Aren't they cute? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I got those and then I got some stuff for my grandbaby because I'm actually leaving in the morning. My husband and I are gonna, going to Colorado and I get to see my grandbaby and I got some to keep at home and some to bring with him, bring for him on the plane. And so I got, y'all, I got two of these. I got two of, I think I got two of each except for one that I couldn't get to. So these are so cute. I know they're like Valentine's theme, but I think he was, oh, I just noticed this one's broken. Man, and I don't have time to take it back to the store today. Look, it's all right. I'll keep this one at home and I'll take it back when I get back. Yeah. And then this one, it's the same one, but they're so cute. So I got those in my little pile of stuff things. And then I think, yeah, I was able to get two of these. So one to stay here and one to go there. Look at that. Aren't they cute? It's the same thing. I don't know why I'm holding both of them, but it's just cute. <laughs> but they're like squishies. So it's a squeeze and squish. So cute. Oh, adorable. Yeah, these are really nice for $1.25, I think. Yeah. So we got those. And then I got... This is the one that they only had one of. is like a baby dinosaur, I think. Fuzzy friend. Oh, I know. So he gets that. And then I just got to decide if that one stays here or goes, goes to Colorado. And then, come on, y'all. Look at that. <laughs> one will stay here. One will go there. I haven't decided which one. But these cute little dinosaurs. They're so cute. Let you stand on your own and shine because you are super cute yeah so those are all of the stuffed things <laughs> that i got stump y'all on the floor for now and then i got some gardening things and i think let's see i got some really cute no because i love gnomes anything gnome i just think is cute so i got this one that says hello spring oh you can't see it sorry <laughs> Hello Spring. I got two Hello Springs. One for the front yard. Yeah. I got one. Oh, I got three Hello No, yeah. Okay. I got... The other one says hello. So I got two Hello Springs. So cute. 
And then I got one Hello. These are so long, I have to hold it down here so you can see it. But there's the Hello. So cute. And then a Welcome. I love it. It's a gnome stuff, y'all. I can't help it. And then I got these because I want to add a few more hanging plants in my back patio. So I got three of these. I like never see these. I think I've seen these once my whole life. <laughs> At Dollar Tree, I would see them in videos, but I never could find them. And so these, you know, you hang it up like this on the cement wall or I guess it could be a wood wall patio or whatever. And so, yeah, and I got three of these to add to my patio garden. And then I also got a couple other, I did, did get some, I did get some planning, junk journaling, planning journaling stuff too, y'all. Y'all know me, come on now. All right, so I also got a couple of hooks. These are really good hooks. I use them in my kitchen, which I'm making over right now, and I'll share that with you guys as soon as I'm done. So I got these, and then I got, anytime I see these at Dollar Tree, I get some because I use them all the time all over my house, including my kitchen. And so I have uh, this big one. This is my favorite size. But they don't always have those. And sometimes it's beneficial for me to have the smaller size too. So I just got both. But yeah, I, I have bought, I don't know, probably a hundred of these over the years and I always find a use for them and then I need more. So for organizing stuff in my house. Yeah. All right. So then I got also, um, I just bought a nice set of long sterling sterling gosh that's not right long stainless steel heavy kitchen utensils and I got rid of all of the plastic ones I didn't get rid of I donated them um but my husband still wanted a plastic or whatever this yeah plastic one for uh, non-stick stuff when he makes his eggs so I got one for him okay I also got some jewelry and I have bought this type of Dollar Tree jewelry before and I really like it. I don't know. It, it, I like it. <laughs> it's inexpensive and it's just cute. But um, so I have different black and white ones and, and silver ones and this kind of white, but in different shapes. So I don't have a pair in this shape and I really wanted to try it. I think it would look really cute on my ears or any ears. <laughs> so I got those. And then I, even though I have a couple of different well, I have several different black and white earrings that aren't from Dollar Tree. I have some hoops that are from Dollar Tree that are black and white. And you can see these are from Dollar Tree too. They're that kind of same whitish, um, whitish is that. And then I got these, my phone. I know I shut it off to film and yet it's came back on it seems. And I'm getting all these notifications. I'm sorry, you guys. Let me take care of that and I'll be right back. I've also gotten smaller earrings like this from Dollar Tree before because I have three holes. I have one, two, three holes on each side. And so I like to have smaller earrings up here, even when I'm wearing a big earring here. And then a lot of times I'll just wear three small ones. And so they have some really cute ones for, you know, $1.25. Some of them have three in the set. This one has two, I think. Oh, this one has three. I'm never going to wear those big earrings. I'm just saying, <laughs> but I got three and then this one has two and I really like to wear the white ball earrings a lot. I just feel like it brings out everything with the white ones and, um, and so I have a few different pair, but every now and then I'll lose one so, you know, I can replace them cheaply that way and then anytime I find a really cute clip, bow clip like this at Dollar Tree, I'll get it to DIY for a traveler's notebook for like a charm or something and especially when they have pink in it. And this is really pretty. And then I got um, these, the set of four little, what are they called? They're just like little dipping bowls. I use them in the kitchen for different things a lot. And I also use them if I'm getting gnats around my uh, plants. Then I can put some vinegar and, and dish soap in there and it'll collect the little gnats until they 
go away probably because I've overwatered my plants or something like that so yeah these are good for different things like that and then I got some more stuff I think the rest might be I think these are all of yes these are all the planning and traveler's notebook and all that stuff type stuff yes okay oh no one more thing first <laughs> that's not one of those things so one more thing let's get this out of here this is so cute i don't know if you guys have noticed or seen at dollar tree they have a bunch of like farmhouse stuff and i don't have a need for any more of that stuff now and i don't really have a place to put it so but this i thought this is one thing and it would be great for like milk or non-dairy milk in my case or creamer uh, when i'm serving people coffee and tea and so this is so cute isn't it i love that so i got that and then everything else is planning arts and crafts journaling stuff like that so i picked up this set of fine liners i wish i had checked to see i mean i wish they had more colors but i didn't find any other colors in these and so i'm going to try these out they this is in black blue and red so we'll see but i do really like that it's in uh, a wheat straw it's made out of wheat straw the casing is so it's very um environmentally beneficial so i'm glad about that and then i got a couple of sets of satin ribbon and yellow so i have some other yellow ribbon but it's they're not satin and so i got this satin ribbon and i the satin the ribbon that's in yellow that i have right now is not is sheer and this is not sheer and it's pretty but i sometimes i wanted to have a little bit more of a bold look and that will work when i'm making stuff for traveler's notebooks or crafting and so forth and then i got a few traveler's notebooks i don't know if you guys know but they got three new ones so i have all of the other ones that they've ever made they are good traveler's notebooks i use them so they have this one is that not pretty oh it's so pretty and the elastic in these you guys is really really good so and so are the grommets look at that is that too close yeah so i got these and each of them comes with two inserts you know it's got this sort of faux velvet or whatever in the inside and then each one has two inserts they're both lined and they're good quality i've used them so yeah so i got that's one of the colors these are so pretty or one of the designs here is oops here's the other one nice they're all have some pink in them no i like that and then this one is a checkered pattern so yeah these are really cute so i've seen them at several dollar trees so you should be able to get out there and get some right now and then i also found a journal and i want to make sure that i always pick up some nice ones like this when i see them because i like to give them away as gifts and in baskets and for church family and stuff like that but they have this new um notebook it's an a5 size and it's so pretty look at the um flamingos so gorgeous so pretty and let me see how many does it say how many pages this does not say that's okay it's a nice thick one so i got that and then i got a bunch of sticker books and i got a yeah they're all sticker books one has few, oh no i also got some uh, more prayer cards you know you guys i like to put these some of these stickers and some of these prayer cards inside my i'm sorry my little pillar in my craft room keeps flying in here because i keep throwing stuff up against it but i like to put these and some uh, stickers in my stationery packs that i send out to my ten dollar patreon members and so i have this set such a pretty design so i'll take one out of each box so i got two sets and you can kind of see how they look yeah so like it says today's prayer and then on the other side is the prayer 
So that's how it is in that one, which it's always a uh, scripture. It's always a verse in the Bible. And then, all right, I'll put you back later. <laughs> and then I got this one. If I can get it out. And it's like this. Ooh, this is really pretty. Today's prayer and the scripture. Yeah. And then I got some books. So I got two of each. Well, actually, I got four of this one because I really like it. So this has 250 plus stickers. I'll show you a little bit of what's in there in a minute. 250 plus. Two of those. And 250 plus. Two of those. Yeah. So here's kind of what they look like. And this is the back of that book. The cover is just gorgeous. Yes. So um, that's what's, this is kind of what's in there on that one. I love that cupcake. It's hard to turn these pages like this. Yeah, this is a good deal, huh? These are cute. Some of them are nice and big too. Yeah, because I just kind of flipped through them really quickly in the store. This is clearly a cupcake theme. <laughs> and I love the unicorns. And I think all of these had unicorns. Oh, I like this bracelet right there. What does this say? Laugh and live. This right here. Isn't that cute? Yeah. And then that. And one more. Oh, that's a big one with the bracelet. Isn't that cute? Yes. Okay, so that one, and then this is what's in this book. Love, just love these covers. I will use them to craft after the stickers have been used. Yeah, so they're all different. I'm glad that books really are different and that you don't just see a bunch of the same stuff in each book like I've seen sometimes in the past. So yeah, come on. These are so cute. It's hard to flip. <laughs> yeah. I think that was the, nope, one more. There's a lot of stickers in this little book for $1.25, y'all, come on. All right, and one more. Yeah, one more book to flip through. All right, this one. I love when I see a unicorn. I just like them for whatever reason. Yeah, let's turn you from the top. That's so much easier. Is this upside down? Nope, it's not. <laughs> I can't. can't flip it. I need a professional page turner. Oh, look at those, y'all. It's so cute. I love that. I'm just a kawaii girl. I, anything cute, I just love it. Ooh, look at that sloth action. I have some one more book set. It's different than these that has sloth. Actually, I feel like I am re repeating. Oh, there's a gnome. Look at the gnome. There might be a little bit of repeating in here, but they're not like other, each book is still different. Oh yeah, see, I see the gnome again. All right, and then the last is I got two sets of these. Two sets of these. So this is a 354 count, and these are all like, it was in the teacher section, so it's like good job, that kind of stuff. So I'm not super into the sparkly like that pages, but that's okay. We got some matte ones in here too. And this is a sloth theme, which I love. Look at all of those. Yeah, and that, oh no, there's another page. Oh, it says more pages than I thought it did. All right, and that is it everybody. Well, before we close today, I want to let you guys know that I am on Instagram at Organized Planner Chic, where I post all of my creative ventures and adventures. I also have two Facebook groups. The one for anyone around the world is called Organized Planner Chic Crew, and the local one is called Phoenix Planner Friends for Christ. 
Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment and share. It really helps my channel a lot and it tells the YouTube algorithm to recommend my videos. You guys, please take care of your mind, body, and spirit because when one area suffers, they all suffer. Please continue to pray for me and I'll continue to pray for you. And until next time, everyone, happy planning.